Happy morning children. How are you all? I hope you are doing well. So welcome to your geography class. Today we will talk about important cities in South America. Then there will be a small video showing you the facts of South America. Yes? So let's begin with the topic important cities in South America. So yes children, before we move to our topic, let's talk about South America briefly. South America is the fourth largest continent. It is joined to North America by a narrow stretch of land called Isthmus of Panama. Except for this narrow stretch, the rest of the continent is surrounded on all sides by water. The greater part of this continent lies in the southern hemisphere. So you can see the location of equator here. But it is not entirely in it as some part of it lies north of the equator. Yes, the continent is triangular in shape. It also lies in the western hemisphere. South America is bounded by Pacific Ocean in the west, Atlantic Ocean in the east. The Caribbean Sea lies just north of this continent. Yes, South America comprises of many countries of which two occupy more than half of the area. Which are those two countries? They are Brazil and Argentina, both of which lie next to the Atlantic Ocean. The Tropic of Capricorn, so this is Tropic of Capricorn, okay, 23.5 degree south. The Tropic of Capricorn cuts through the center of the continent. Most of Brazil is located to the north of the Tropic of Capricorn, while most of Argentina is located to the south of it, yes? Peru, Colombia and Bolivia are the other large countries in South America. There are a number of islands off the coast of South America, which are those Galapagos Island, the Falkland Islands and South Sandwich Islands. The Galapagos Islands are an archipelago of volcanic islands. Yes? Now let's move to our topic important cities in South America. So you can see here a map showing major cities of South America. So we will talk about some important cities, right? So the first one is Buenos Aires, which is the capital of Argentina. Then we will talk about Rio de Janeiro, which is the old capital of Brazil. Then Brasilia, which is the current capital of Brazil. Then we will talk about Caracas, which is the capital of Venezuela. Then we will talk about Quito, capital of Ecuador. And at the last, we will talk about La Paz, which is the capital of Bolivia. So you can easily see the location of all these important cities in South America. Yes, so let's begin with the first, that is Buenos Aires. So this is Buenos Aires. It is the capital and the largest city of Argentina. It is situated near the mouth of river La Plata. It has a busy harbor. So you can see the location of Rio de la Plata between Uruguay. The Rio de la Plata is an estuary formed by the confluence of the Uruguay and the Parana rivers. Clear? Now after Buenos Aires, let's move to the next city which is Rio de Janeiro. Rio de Janeiro, built on the Atlantic coast in Brazil, is the second largest city of Brazil after Sao Paulo. The giant statue of Christ overlooking the city from the 709 meter summit of Corcovado is almost as widely recognized a symbol of Rio as the distinctive shape of sugar loaf. So you can see here this is sugar loaf. The beautiful sugar loaf mountain overlooks the city. It is one of the most beautiful natural harbors in the world. Sugar loaf mountain is known as the tourist jewel of Rio de Janeiro 
because of its popularity among the tourists. Clear? Rio de Janeiro is well known for the beauty of its beaches, peaks, ridges and hills, all partly covered by tropical forest. The city is a center of leisure for Brazilian and foreign tourists. Now let's talk about Brasilia. Brasilia is the famous capital and the fourth largest city of Brazil. It is located at its central west region. It was built to create a perfectly planned city capital in the inland. It is the only 20th century built city given a designation by the UNESCO as one of the World Cultural Heritage Site. The city is located at the top of the Brazilian highlands in the country's western region. A well-planned city and is a symbol of the unity and progressiveness of Brazilian people. Brasilia is in the UNESCO's World Heritage List due to its architecture. On April 22, 1960, it formally became Brazil's national capital. Viewed from above, the main portion of the city resembles an aircraft or a butterfly. The city is commonly referred to as Capital Federal. So you can see the satellite image of Brasilia. Yes, it looks like an aeroplane or a butterfly. From an architectural perspective, the airplane-shaped plan was certainly an homage to Lee Carbozier and his enchantment with the aircraft as an architectural masterpiece. Yes? Now, after exploring Brasilia, let's move to the next city that is Quito. So, this is Quito, the capital of Ecuador. It was founded in 1534 on the ruins of an ancient Inca city. Quito is considered to have one of the oldest and best preserved colonial sectors with narrow and winding cobblestone streets, magnificent churches and open squares. Yes, as we are already aware of the location of Ecuador, yes, it is situated close to the equator. In spite of its equatorial location, it has a pleasant climate throughout the year as it is situated high in the Andes. Yes? It has the world's largest known oil reserves and has been one of the world's leading exporters of oil. Earnings from the export of petroleum, which the country produces in significant quantity, have helped people here to become wealthy. Yes, now let's move to the last important city of South America, that is La Paz. Yes, it is the capital of Bolivia. It is situated near the world's second largest freshwater lake, that is Lake Titicaca. It lies between 3,250 and 4,100 meters above sea level. It is the world's highest national capital. La Paz industries are chiefly food processing and the manufacture of textiles, clothing, shoes and chemicals. Clear?
students i hope you must have enjoyed exploring the important cities of south america yes and the facts related to south america that's all for today thank you everyone have a nice day bye